Okay, the next tutorial we're gonna, or the next site we're gonna talk about, math related site, is called Math Excel for School. Um, this was a site that we used the last two years at, at my site. Um, it, we had the Pearson curriculum, and this was the basically the assessment piece or the homework piece that was, excuse me, attached to the Pearson success. It was first Pearson realized, and it became Pearson success net for some reason. But this was what I basically used for homework. All the homework went through this site. So a couple of things that this site will do, um, since it's linked to the, the, the curriculum we use, the sections matched, so the content matched. So if we're in you know, unit chapter six, um, we should be able to find that here and be able to assign assignments pretty quick. Um, a few features for this that we used, as you can see here, um, basically what I used is um, when I would assign something, pretty easy to assign um, uh, an assignment. You're going to go to um, Homework and Test Manager. If you want to set up an assignment, um, you can create an assignment um, right here. You could go here. You could create homework. Um, and it's very user friendly. You could give it a name, but then it would attach it to a section. Um, so once you assigned it to a section, you had a, a, qu a question bank, ones you wanted to pick. Um, you could go through and choose the ones you wanted to pick um, and set anywhere from three questions, eight questions, 10 questions. Um, you could decide um, there was kind of easy, medium, hard. So, but it was very pretty user friendly to create the assignment. Um, once you did that, if you go back to the course, um, you can see um, for this period, this was a class I had last year, all their assignments are right here. This is kind of what they see. So you can see what's been assigned. Um, and if you click on the, the lesson or the assignment, takes you to the questions. You can look and see if you've got a question mark, that they got it right. Some of them are two point questions. Um, they can show you how they did, what they did. If you click on the question, again, this was also at a site that gave you instant feedback um, as they did a problem. They kind of had a, a rolling score here of how many they done, how many they got right. You could click here if you want to go to a specific problem. You could go to that problem if you wanted to work on it right here. Um, but again, there were different types of questions you could do. If you picked one, I'm just going to pick one. And if you picked it, my mouse is not working. And you hit check answer, it's going to give you feedback. Either you got it right, or um, if you got it wrong, it's going to kind of show you why you got it wrong. Um, so it did. It was really helpful to give them instant feedback. You can set how many times they can try the question before it just marks it as wrong. Um, so if you go to a lot of other features that we didn't use a whole lot of the rest of them, but um, if you go to Gradebook, this is where I would go once I did them all. There's your roster. They just sign in with a code, gets into this class. Um, and then you could see how well they're doing. So if you pick on a student, a learner, we call them, you could see all the questions or all the assignments, how many they did, um, how much time they spent on them, what their score was. Um, and again, since they had a chance to get feedback on a question, if they got it wrong, they could do each question a couple of times. So this is where I would go to, to check their progress. And we'd, I'd say they'd ask me how they're doing. I'd say, let's look at this together. Um, again, a lot of other features that you can give them feedback on the problems. You can do things like that, but those were the main ones that we did there. So or I used in this program. So this was our platform for the last couple of years, but we're going to big ideas math, which I'll show later as our main curriculum platform this year.